Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is February 28th, the last day of February 2020. And uh, yesterday we did um, sort of a review discussion of the movies we had picked in a previous live stream. We talked about eight movies and today we're going to pick more movies to watch. So today is picking movies live stream and uh, we'll see what uh, good stuff people are going to be recommending. Uh, we were a little heavy on the last set of movies. Uh, there was a lot of testosterone everywhere. As <laughs> Someone mentioned that Cheryl and Elder God, of course. And uh, uh, I think uh, we might try, hopefully people are coming in with a little bit lighter movies. I know my selection is going to be on the lighter side, lighter sci-fi, a uh, little fun uh, retro movie, but I'll uh, mention my recommendation uh, for the for the lot anyway uh, once people start rolling in and uh, it'll take us about 10 minutes or so um, before we begin our uh, sort of recommendations I guess where people can pop in and recommend right away um, so I'm going to do my little intro if you want to know what this work is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what we're doing Patreon is a way to do it. For those of you that have been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. And I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share and like. Follow the work. If you like it, you know where we're at. We are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to participate in the chat, once it begins, I can show you. I can show you here. I'll show you what it looks like. There we go. Doop. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency of capitalist transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist. That's where the chat pops up. If you want to participate in this chat and give your recommendations for our movies to watch, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who join our live stream, supporting our work through Twitch, liking, subscribing, following, commenting, and mods, thank you for taking care of business and thank you for being here. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Elo, Parlor, Minds, VK, Gab, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page where people are sharing a lot of information. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime you like in the chat. Type in exclamation mark social right there. I'll give it a little black background. And all those links will pop up and including in the bottom, you'll see a Discord page where sort of free flow of information. Cheryl, how are you doing? Right on, right on. I'll pull our, our pollsters here. <laughs> Cheryl, I got a light light selection for uh, this this movie stream. We'll see if it uh, gets a hold. You might appreciate it if you if anyone that's seen it, you might appreciate it. And uh, we will be uploading the audio for this live stream to SoundCloud dot com forward slash chicho c h y c h o as a podcast, and it should be available in your favorite podcasting platform including spotify sunny leo 98 hey chicho oh man dude i used to know when i was a little kid i knew how to read armenian i don't know how to read armenian right now uh unfortunately i forgot i never practiced as only um i only read and write english right uh is that uh, color of pomegranates you're recommending is that color pom pomegranates Oh, thanks, Evan, Cheryl. <laughs> You'll love this movie, Cheryl. You're gonna. I. I don't know. You might. You might like this movie. Uh, if you've seen it, you're gonna go sweet. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you're gonna go sweet. <laughs> no, I was just saying free Assange. Ah, oh, you're saying free Assange in Armenian, yeah? Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Uh, Assangein Azadik. Uh, is that? Uh, is that what you wrote down? Asanjin Azadek, Asanjin Azadek, Asanjin Azadek. I couldn't even know, I don't even know what the word for crucified is in Armenian. Uh, transparency and accountability. 
Azatel Assange. Azatel Assange. Azatel Assange. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Sunny. Uh, Sunin. Sunin Leo 98. Excellent. Excellent. And the reason we want to do that, I wish I could say it in Armenian. If you can translate in Armenian, please let me know and I'll try to put it in my repertoire. But the reason we want to Azadel Assange is because Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube. And talking about SensorTube, we will be uploading this live stream, this video to SensorTube, BitChute, and Rumble if we have enough points to odyssey the points are moving on things so at some point we'll have enough points uh we'll start getting on there on a regular basis and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing commenting subscribing and if you're on uh, youtube you can join youtube membership and there's a handful of people that have joined youtube membership and thank you very much for supporting this work on that platform aside from that gang welcome to another live stream we're talking movies. Let's do some recommendations. Let's do some recommendations. I'm gonna put mine in there. I'm gonna put mine in there. Let's see. Have the notifications gone out? I think maybe on one platform they've gone out. <coughs> Not sure if they've gone out everywhere. But Cheryl, I'm gonna give you mine. Hold on a second. 1979. It's a sci-fi movie from 1979. And it's Buck Rogers from 1979. That's my recommendation. <laughs> Buck Rogers and the 25th century. I should get the full name. But Buck Rogers is it. That's my selection. Buck Rogers and the 25th century. Let me, let me write this out. Buck Rogers and 25th century. Let's make sure that's what it's called. In the 25th century. And... There was a TV series on it too, right? But we're gonna we're recommending the movie. There's only two seasons for the thing, Majiki. But the, I think the movie kicked it off. Uh, in regards to when it came out. Excellent, Cheryl. <laughs> Have you seen it, Cheryl? Have you seen it? <laughs> hey, Chicho, Water Exile. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. And good morning. What we snagging on to and dude i'm still going through my chicho cookies chicho cookies chicho cookies we're towards the end this this batch is um chocolate chips uh coconut flakes and fig and whole wheat uh, with whole wheat bread uh, organic cane sugar and uh, coconut oil okay that's what i'm munching on I've been munching on this for like a whole week. <laughs> I think I have to hold off on Chicho cookies for a while after this batch. Hey Chicho, what's new? Oh wow, the name, the name, the name. Retsosa. Jeff, Jeff, that's right. I knew there's something in there that I know. Jeff, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well on this Sunday morning. Zexthi. Zexthi. Zex. Zexthi. That sounds like an alien name. <laughs> Love the bees. <laughs> Is that a little bee? Pride you. Nice. Afternoon, sir. Chicho. Good afternoon, Electric Shepherd. How are you doing? Wow, looks delicious. Super good, man. Addictive. Oof, oof. I've been popping a lot of these. Need to get some exercise. Das 89v2. Hi, from a French Canadian guy lurking. Hello, France, a French Canada. How are you doing? beautiful province quebec beautiful province montreal i loved quebec city i loved great food water exile chicho cookies and pomegranate liqueur we need the cookbook from you at some point and water exile at some point that is the plan at some point that is the plan okay let me do this i gotta put this on a uh, little notification uh Doink, doink, doink. Cool. Nope, but uh, Kiwi from the show as my favorite when I was a kid. Oh, really? You've but you've never seen it. 
the cool 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 i watched the trailer this morning just just to make sure that was i wanted to recommend it and it put a smile on my face and it made it so innocent and i was like man what beautiful time sort of right we're still pretty oblivious to world events but what beautiful time good morning mc mike how are you doing i hope you guys are having a fantastic sunday by the way we're taking recommendations gang mine is buck rogers in the 25th century i'm gonna put this on <laughs> buck rogers in the 25th century 1979 that's my recommendation i'm putting it in again <laughs> irrelevant if it gets picked or not i'm watching this movie that's it must be done must be done what's everybody's recommendation i'm putting this on i brought oh man i finally remembered to bring pen and paper pen and paper buck rogers buck rogers 1979 from chicho das 89 v2 i'm good thanks for asking our province is is a beautiful place but now we are stuck inside because our government and can't go out at you're in curfew after 8 p.m quebec is curfew on, after 8 p.m i thought they lifted that stuff that's insane man really all these western countries that are putting these lockdowns in place and it curfews meanwhile other countries psh, free for all go, go to a cafe and enjoy your time man uh, what's going on do 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 invisible uh pathogens <laughs> virus i don't want to say viruses because we're doing a good uh, understand borders and they don't cross the border without a passport is that what's going on i still can't decide what to recommend yeah I, cheryl I, because all the movies i had in my mind were on the heavier side and my partner said i i i went up to her and said is there any movies you want to watch that we can recommend she's like yep i've already got it <laughs> fuck rogers in the 25th century i'm like right on that's what we're going with <laughs> electric shepherd the wife and i have started the hellraiser films again oh nice nice i've seen the first uh i've seen the first two okay i've seen the first two the first one's revolutionary like it, it was it was a groundbreaker the box was super cool man oh man super cool that's definitely not on the lighter side <laughs> right, definitely not on the lighter side water exile live in scotland you're living in a orwellian hellscape right now 1984 for real yeah maybe it was a blueprint right maybe orwell was actually putting out the blueprint that western governments governments had in place to to roll out their thing right uh jordan maxwell talked about this talked about the bible that it wasn't a story being told it was a blueprint right are we recommending one mo one movie each that's it uh sunny leo 98 so we get one recommendation per movie thank her for me awesome cheryl will do will do <laughs> she had a huge smile on her face when she said it right i was like yes awesome padre 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 how are you doing even just going down the road a couple of miles in america can be the different difference from masks um everywhere to no masks at all is it now yeah crazy here where i am half the people it's 50 50 half the people wear half the people don't in grocery stores and stuff you need to wear now or in stores like on wednesday when i went to pick up my comics I had, you know, you have to do. I had my mask hanging on me, right? And I went into the comic book store talking with people and everyone was wearing masks and we're grabbing comics. And then all of a sudden I realized I didn't put my mask on and no one said anything. No one realized anything. So it's just become sort of a filter to a certain degree. No one's really noticing it, right? it's weird i'm not sure how to take it right yes we have a curfew since beginning of january near two months now wow crazy man insane so all the cafes are closed after 8 p.m nightlife like montreal and quebec city it was after 10 p.m 9 p.m that's when it really starts kicking up i recommend the master 19 uh 2012 water exile you got to do hashtag and then 
put the name of the movie and the year so uh, unless you're doing that it won't go into the pool right it's like that where i am too a few miles away good afternoon movie fans crack how are you doing good afternoon uh, the mass have become very casual very casual so water exile do hashtag or number sign the master 2012 and we'll put it in there okay i'm gonna put it in because i'm gonna assume that you're gonna do that the i don't know the masters what's the movie about by the way masters 2012 water exile water exile do you find a mass uh, cumbersome with the uh, beard it makes the beard all go wacko right it makes it all crazy shape right so when i take it off it's like <laughs> I'm sending a guy dang. Oh, sorry, Chicho and Chicho. Uh, the Master 2012. Cheryl, do we have the Master 2012? Nice. Cafe be, begins shutting down at 7 7 7 30 p.m. because the employees must be must go home before 8 p.m. Oh man, that's that's crazy. Anyway, that's insane. We have another recommendation: the invitation the invitation gang do a little sell pitch on your movies because i don't know these movies uh kebabs Bobs. Uh oh frozen Ch chuckling express chunking express chunking express i know that one i want to recommend something heavy like jacob's ladder i think we already did jacob's ladder oh no he, it was in a pool but it didn't make it but i'll go with something light and fun chunking express chunking express i think i've seen it maybe chunking express that's is that jackie chan sun in leo all that jazz padre what year padre what year is all that jazz all that jazz padre the master yep cool the masters the lighthouse oh i heard about the lighthouse gladiator 2000 cold duck says the lighthouse the lighthouse 2019 cold duck duck and then we got gladiator gladiator from 2000 wow i haven't seen that since 2000 right yes and oh right on kebab saying the invitation while attending a dinner party at his former house a man logan marshall green starts to believe that his ex-wife tammy blanchard and her new husband michael hassan have sinister plans for the guests mm, okay really confusing thriller so it's a thriller okay padre's movie which was all that jazz is 1979 cool that's two movies from 1979 because my recommendation was i'm going to put this in again buck rogers and buck rogers and the 25th century from 1979 <laughs> just because people are rolling in right <clears throat> cold duck says not exactly light-hearted but a great psychological thriller with willem dafoe and robert Pat patson cool 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 and cold duck he did the lighthouse okay so light the lighthouse from 2019 is a psychological thriller okay the rover 2012 i don't know what the rover is what's the rover um electric shepherd the rover sounds sci-fi electric shepherd killing them softly from crack killing them softly what year was it killing them softly 2012 lots of recent movies crack gangster flick gangster flick with brad pitt james Gandol gandolfini and others based on a crime novel by george v higgins cool 
Sunny Leo, no Jackie Chan, but still a Hong Kong movie. Okay, cool. And that's Chunking Express. Okay. And Chicho was recommending Buck Rogers in the 25th century from 1979. And it's the cheesy 1979 sci-fi with <laughs> Star Wars uh, special effects that kicked off a TV series of Buck Rogers enters the 25th century. And it's based on Buck Rogers uh, sci-fi books or magazines, I guess, fan magazines or something, or uh, Pulp Fiction that came out in the golden age of comics, right? And the original, this is a remake, the original is from 1932 or 1942 or something like this. I'm suggesting The Room with Tommy Wise. Wise, I'm not, uh, I'm not, not original. It's not the original, but it's so bad that it's really funny, is it? <laughs> That's, do this, put hashtag, exclaim, uh, the number sign, and then The Room because otherwise it's not going to get entered the room and what year did it come out uh, borat 2 kebab says hold on kebabs you already got a recommendation don't you kebabs you can only do one recommendation no two recommendations your original recommendation is the invitation so borat is not included unless you want to take invitation out and put borat 2 in and I can honestly tell you, I'm not going to vote for Borat because uh, Sasha Cohen is just a just a hack. The guy supports censorship and gives speeches at the ADL to roll out censorship so Borat can kiss my ass and all his personas. <laughs> Electric Shepherd, 86. The rover stars G. Pierce and Robert Patson in a post-apocalyptic Australia. Oh, cool. Very gritty with some spectacular acting oh nice is that the one electric shepherd he's driving around with a dog in his car is that the movie if it is it's a fantastic movie where they talk about chain uh, uh, money uh, is that the movie I want to keep on reading. Da, 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 da. I love 70s movies, dude. Oh, yeah, Padre. They're so cool. They're fun. Was a joke suggestion, Cheryl? Kebabs. Chung King Express. Let's read this. Everyday Cop 223 buys a can of pineapple with an expiration date of may 1st symbolizing the day he'll get over his lost love he's also got his eye on a mysterious woman in a blonde blonde wig oblivious of the fact she's a drug dealer cop 663 is a distraught is distraught with heartbreak over a breakup but when his ex drops a spare set of spare set of his keys at a local cafe a waitress lets herself into his apartment and spurs up his life oh sounds exciting just a recommendation elder elder god how you doing castaway on the moon 2009 uh grow forest welcome welcome and make sure you put x uh hashtag number sign and gateway get gateway on the moon otherwise it uh won't get put in okay gateway castaway not gateway castaway castaway on the moon uh 2009 okay from grow forest grow forest and the description is south korean film romantic comedy very lighthearted. a man in debt jumps off a bridge hoping to end it ends up stranded on an island in the middle of of han river a girl addicted to the digital world spots him and begins observing him from his her high-rise apartment very cool very cool very cool we keep invitation okay okay i now hate borat <laughs> right on <laughs> you should kebabs the room is in from and it's 2003 from das 89 v2 hello chicho 
Macro Montecchi. Hello, Chicho. I am from Italy, and I am I am happy to view this. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much, uh, Marco. Hope you're doing well as uh, also right in Italy. And salutations to Italy. I trekked around Italy in '98. It was fun, fun place. Very different. Southern Italy from Central Italy to Northern Italy. Diff it's just like different worlds different worlds this is nomination please add the yeah please add the uh, number sign isn't that one directed by nick cave or written by him castaway on the moon is beautiful it is definitely a special movie really castaway on the moon okay okay yes sir that is the movie oh that is the movie gang the rover uh from uh that electric shepherd recommended is a fantastic po post-apocalyptic movie very good movie very nice taste electric shepherd very nice taste and that actor the main actor is brilliant sorry just got here what number just a number sign uh grow forest um but i think you did num hashtag i'm gonna blurt out a random movie laugh out loud imitation game imitation game real uh mc mike i know that game movie which one is that one imitation game imitation game what year is it mc mike what year is the imitation uh game cast away on the moon is in nice 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 so far buck rogers the invitation so this is a lineup of what we got so far uh, we got Buck Rogers, Chicho recommendation, The Invitation, The Master, Chunking Express, all that jazz, The Lighthouse, Gladiator, The Rover, Killing Them Softly, The Room, Imitation Game, Castaway on the Moon. Cool. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen oh we got thirteen twelve no we got twelve cool twelve movies so far nice 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 uh padre says all that jazz has one of the greatest opening scenes of all time it goes through a whole broadway tryout it's uh on sensor tube it's on sensor tube nice i have buck rogers in the 20th 25th century is also on uh youtube as well okay the lighthouse is great somewhat uh, Lovecraftian is it cool 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 it's the one about Turing right the lighthouse is about Turing is that the uh, the person who came up with uh, the the Turing test from World War, World War II the English guy if so that sounds uh, interesting no the, oh the imitation game that's what it is cool 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 so imitation game is there too and what year did it come out it just came out in the last uh, few years i believe no so we got 12 movies so far elizabeth town elder god elizabeth town what's elizabeth town um, elizabeth town is this uh Queen Elizabeth 2005 Elizabeth town I don't know this one at all hope you guys have some cookies to eat cookies Chicho's chocolate chip cookies is it gonna focus I don't think so maybe oh look at this look at this, look at this. no dice no dice And a tea kickback. Cheryl, you haven't put in a recommendation yet. And by the way, gang, if you don't have anything lighthearted, recommend whatever you want. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some lighthearted mm, movies in here there's no doubt so far we got 13 of them elder god drew baylor 
loses his job and his girlfriend and contemplates suicide only to learn that his father has died while on a flight to the funeral drew meets a woman who changes his life oh that sounds fantastic elizabeth town cool 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 the water exile one movie you haven't seen is gumo has anyone seen uh else seen this i'm curious to know it um uh, is gumo the korean one or sorry is it the, the japanese one gumo isn't that a chick flick elder got chick some of the some of the best movies are chick flicks man well let, let's put it this way some of the most feel-good movies are chick flicks and it sounds like a chick flick <laughs> and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or check out our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube okay only one recommendation this is yeah only one recommendation I know if we could make multiple recommendations <laughs> we, the list would be like hundreds <laughs> after a week we figure out the top 50 we're gonna watch uh, Cheryl I know I still can't decide ask your kid ask your kid ask your son Harry met Sally haha <laughs> padre <laughs> that was a great show it was fun it was fun it was fun I loved, I loved the best part of Harry Met, Harry Met Sally. I, I think it was, uh, oh no, no, that was uh, City Slickers was another one on that level where, um, what's that cowboy's name? They, they went to Cowboy Ranch and the guy tells a story of he fell in love once. He saw a woman uh, carrying water to a well and the sun was shine, rising or sink, sinking and uh, he could see through her. Uh, silhouette through the dress and it was beautiful and stuff and he fell in love instantly and he knew it couldn't get any better than that so he left <laughs> that was the peak <laughs> harry matt sally the classic scene obviously is in the restaurant right where uh sally is doing the orgasm sounds it also has great shoes it has great shoes the which movie elizabeth town cool cheryl i was just thinking of that one padre 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 when harry met sally out i haven't seen it forever chicho let's keep it keep it low that low this time in terms of uh how many movies yeah we had eight was too many it took me too long to go through them all tom and jerry tom and jerry tom and jerry movie <laughs> why not <laughs> are we putting it in cheryl am i putting it in <laughs> hashtag tom and jerry <laughs> no fun no fun use one on the list excellent excellent are we ready for a poll we got like 13 movies that's cool so we can do let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so uh, i don't know <laughs> we're not gonna do tom and jerry <laughs> or we're not gonna take one on the list water exile i believe gumu 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 is a u.s indie film by harmony corin it's about a very odd town in Ohio that's supposed to be quite disturbing, creepy, and thought-provoking. Really? Yeah, I don't know that one. 2.5 months is just too long between streams. Yeah, it is. It is. It was just too long. It, it was eight movies, and it was... Uh, and I was sort of... Uh, it was my fault, to tell you the truth, because I was really busy doing some other stuff. You watched it last night? <laughs> was it good cheryl was tom and jerry good super troopers yes 2009 super troopers 2001 troopers 2001 from cheryl and super troopers is about a 
uh, state police um, that are managing a certain area, a certain highway, and it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie, and there there are Canadians in there too. I think if I remember correctly, the director wrote the film. Oh, the director wrote the film. Uh, kids, wow, wow, wow. Okay, Kids was amazing, fantastic movie. The Water Exile, Tom and Jerry, Willy Wonka, and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> Probably the most whack crossover in cinema history. <laughs> Gumo. Gumo is wild. Gumo is wild, really. A real animation. Cheryl. Tom and Jerry was pretty good. Fun to watch with a 12 year old. Was it? Cool, cool, cool. That's good. Ah, Matt Jer. SpongeBob. Matt, you haven't recommended anything. Throw it down there. Give us SpongeBob, brother. SpongeBob, SpongeBob, SpongeBob. <laughs> I've already put my recommendation in. Can't do it. Fun. Fun. So, gang, we got 14 movies in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If we do. The SpongeBob movie Padre. Someone I've already put a recommendation. I can't do it. <laughs> Mad girl. <laughs> two more. We need two more. We need two more. We need to get to 16. That way we can do four a pop. Uh four movies per heat. And that way we get to four. Watch four movies. Come on, people. We've talked about some we talked about some amazing movies yesterday. People were recommending. Right? If not, we're gonna we're gonna do some randoms. We're gonna put in. We're gonna we're gonna allow people to make two, and the first two that put it in, they're in. They're in like Flynn. So heats based on first come, or randomize the list, then cut the heats. Um, first come maybe put it in first come, which makes it weird because some of the ones I want to watch are together right up to you Cheryl you decide you decide Spongebob will be the uh, hierog hieroglyphs found in the sandy tomb of the millennials <laughs> what's going on just got here Max Wilde we're suggesting movies to watch and then talk about in a future live stream so movie club right and if you're going to recommend the movie you got to put the number sign and then the name of the movie like hashtag name of the movie and the date and we'll put it in the poll and we're about to start the poll so if you want have a movie recommendation throw it in give us a movie recommendation water exile spawn uh, who's who's recommending we've already uh used first come we've already used first come okay do you want to stick with that first come put them in order is that easier for you? Whichever one's easier for you, Cheryl, by the way. Padre. Uh, the crazy part about uh, SpongeBob is that people who watch it as a kid, their kids are now watching it also. Yeah. I watched it as an adult by myself in a movie theater on an afternoon with like five other people in the movie theater watching it. And everybody was an adult except one person with his kid and we walked out of there laughing our asses off it was one of the most pleasant movie fantastic movie experiences i've ever had it was so fun so fun okay it is first come so we still need two more movie recommendations bottle rocket bottle rocket what year uh simtron bottle rocket Is it supposed to be bottle rockets or is it bottle rocket? We still don't. We SpongeBob is still not recommended, though. By the way, so whoever's going to recommend Seven Samurai is in 1954. That's it. We got our 16 gang. Seven Samurai 1954. What a fantastic movie! A classic, and a lot of other movies were based on it, right? would be jock wacky jabawaki zabrowski 
I haven't seen it forever. Oh, Jabra uh, Zabrowski, you missed the thing. You're supposed to put a hashtag in it. We got 16. We could kick it up more of, of quick movie recommendations coming. We kick it up to uh, 20. SpongeBob's hilarious. Or a co worker recommended I watch the uh, Greasy Stranger. I checked out the trailer and nope. Uh, nooped out very quick really i don't know that one cry we went to see the first spongebob in a theater with a bunch of kids it was an absolute blast ah awesome crack when spongebob <laughs> pops out of his pants the kids lost their minds <laughs> awesome simple try 1996 that's when bottle rocket came out 1996 that's the japanese movie right with uh Wes Anderson. Oh, Wes Anderson movie. Okay, okay. War games. Darth Uh Imitation game year. I love Terry, Terry Gilliam. Terry Gilliam is fantastic. Spring build. Gina, how are you doing? My bad. Just joined. Oh, Zabrowski just joined. So what is it, gang? We got max of 20 equals four heats of five movies. Okay, so we can kick it up to four more. So, so far, there's some movie recommendations people made, but they didn't put the hashtag in front. So war games darth darth Takan. if you want war games recommended put hashtag war games and the date we'll put it in the list uh spring uh spring bill uh, gina hashtag name date there was another one here uh Jab jabberwocky zubrowski jabberwocky put hashtag date and we'll enter it in and i think that takes us up to 19 and then we just need one more right we wouldn't have the spaghetti western genre without the japanese samurai absolutely not right the wild bunch uh, the wild bunch and the magnificent seven beautiful movies right i like seven samurai better but it's a good western jabberwocky 1971 Burr Wacky 1971 Zabrowski and War Games War Games 1983 Nice That was a fun movie Four more 20 total equals four heats four to watch Yep sounds good If you like kids then you'll like the Ken like Ken Park both by the same director cool so is spongebob in is spongebob in no one's recommended it what's going on one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen i got eighteen here so i don't know i might be missing one i say put spongebob in cheryl someone's got to recommend spongebob who hasn't recommended one throw it in there throw it in there I haven't written down SpongeBob yet. Spring Bill is a meme version SpongeBob. Ah, oh, is that what it is? It's on Sensor Tube. Is it? Oh, the usual suspect. Gina is in with the usual suspect. The usual suspect. Elder God's gonna love this one. I think Elder God, you watched this like a gazillion times. Great movie. Too bad about the main actor being such a horrendous real life human being <laughs> they didn't want really like kids great movie but wow yeah i loved it but wow especially the last part Oof, my god unless we've watched it before the usual suspects gina two thousand times <laughs> Elder Gods, yes, yes. The director too. The director too is horrendous. Damn. Damn. We'll put that aside. It's a good movie. We'll put that aside. That was before we were enlightened about their horrendous nature. Should we do this? Let's run the polls, gang. If the if we only got nineteen, the last seat is only, only going to have four. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, and funny thing is three three people that brought charges against them two of them died and one of them took it back 
something nasty going on no one more we need one more we need one more it's just such a good movie god tier ending gang okay i have 19 i had 19 too so we need one more add one more gang and while we're adding one more don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and ca accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. cold duck cold duck you already got one recommendation elders got elder god's got one recommendation so elder god is saying heat cold duck is saying oh brother where art thou elder god was first cold duck was second yo man like chicho xeroxa how are you doing take cold take colds okay oh brother where art thou is in gang okay that's our 20 we're ending the polls we're ending the recommendation brothers where art thou from 2000 okay so cheryl cheryl's asking her that's my lighthearted pick lighthearted yeah heat is a phenomenal movie too and old brother Dalbert, they're both phenomenal excellent choice cool excellent choice <laughs> cheryl had that choice uh last stream i think movie picks so cheryl uh all up to you all up to you now the polls are going to be coming up gang so be quick on the trigger uh or hold off in the last second just to make sure yours gets through yes we watched it last last fall nice no more suggestions no we lock we locked it up zaraxa i need one minute yep yeah. cheryl's gonna do her thing um we have one person recommend two so uh if you were in like two minutes earlier you could have thrown your recommendation and it would have made it into the polls hashtag 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 and uh, what do you call it gang um so we're gonna do the poll two minutes i think poll closed two minutes um you got two minutes to cast your votes and we're gonna do five per heat and the top one we watch if there's a tie we watch both damn i could have recommended requiem for a dream oh heavy heavy what a great movie save that recommendation for the next stream save that recommendation for the next stream i'm checking i got okay gang uh, confirm please uh, on my list i got buck rogers the master uh the invitation chunking express all that jazz the lighthouse gladiator the rover killing them softly the room castaway uh castaway on the moon um invitation imitation game elizabeth town super troopers bottle rocket seven samurai jabros uh jabrowski J jabberwocky i can't even read my own writing jabberwocky war games the usual suspect and old brother where art thou and that's our kitty cat saying meow <laughs> just got here epstein x you're in you made it in time to cast your vote because the polls are gonna go up soon <laughs> popcorn and a big grin <laughs> I got my hand on my trigger i got my hand on my trigger to vote things up <coughs> chicho was recommending buck rogers of the 21st century <laughs> awesome fun 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 i'm looking forward to uh to these movies gang like seriously it's nice to have a list of movies that you have to watch for your homework so it's like oh I, you don't even have to search for movies to watch you've been recommended movies to watch and it's like right on that's great super fun super fun super fun nice hope you guys have a fantastic sunday i want to pop a cookie all all that jazz is musical i believe so more chicho cookies i gotta stop eating these we're a goal gang movie night number five this is our poll five movies 
Buck Rogers, The Invitation, The Master, Chunking Express, and all that jazz. Buck Rogers has four votes, five votes. Invitation has one, Master one, all that jazz one, and Chunking Express has three votes. Buck Rogers, seven. Chunking Express, four. Invitation, The Master, and all that jazz with one a pop. Buck Rogers has nine votes now. Chunking Express with four. Chunking Express is the only one really that can catch up because the rest of them have three votes a pop and we've got about 30 seconds to go buck rogers with nine chunking express at six the invitation the master and all that jazz of one vote oh chunking express is catching up with seven votes buck rogers at nine chunking express at seven we've got about 10 seconds left buck rogers at nine chunking express at seven buck rogers nine chunking express at seven invitation master and all that jazz of one vote a pop buck rogers at nine chunking express at eight buck rogers nine chunking express eight oh buck rogers takes it with nine votes if someone else cast a vote on chunking express we would have got two movies out of that one it would have been a tie we would have watched both so buck rogers is it gang buck rogers photo finish photo finish So all that jazz, master, the master, and the invitation only got one vote a pop. So people wanted a little bit lighthearted movies, right? You didn't get to vote. Oh no, Padre, what's going on? Chunking Express. Sun Sunny was uh, recommending that. I would have voted for two movies though uh yeah you you should have cast your votes for chunking express you would have kicked it up to nine and would have watched both of them i love bach roger caesar's kid me too me too me too chunking needed me padre padre you weren't there for chunking what can we do what can we do what are the odds of chunking making on our list again man what an opportunity lost what an opportunity lost <laughs> You got to be quick on the trigger, man. Just like trading in the markets. You got to be quick on the trigger right now. Sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy. Out, boom, boom, choo, pang. Right? So we got Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Buck Rogers, the 25th century is our first movie we got to watch. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cheesy 70s sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Ready for poll number two. Thank you, Cheryl. We got the second poll coming up. Second heat is about to start, gang. Get your trigger fingers ready. Hold the line, hold the line, hold the line. And in this heat, I think we got one, two, three, four, five. I think we're gonna have the lighthouse, gladiator, rover, killing them softly in the room, but we'll figure it out. We'll see. Here it is. Here's heat number two, gang. We got the lighthouse, gladiator, the rover, killing them softly and the room. Okay. We got lighthouse, gladiator, rover, killing them softly with one water pop. Rover's got two votes right now. The room hasn't left the gate yet. Room's out as well. So we got Rover with two votes, Gladiator with two votes, Lighthouse killing them softly in the room with one vote a pop. So we got a basically a five-way race right now. People are holding off to see where everything's gonna go. We're about 15 seconds into the heat. We're about 15 seconds into the heat. Oh, there's Lighthouse gets one more vote. Oh, oh, everybody's tied at two votes a pop. If this is a tie, there's five movies we're gonna watch in this heat alone, right? Someone's gonna spoil it. Someone's gonna spoil it. We got Gladiator with three, The Room with three, Gladiator with four votes, The Room is three, and everybody is at two votes. Lighthouse Rover killing them softly stuck at two gladiators got four votes gladiators got five votes the rooms got three votes lighthouse rover and killing them softly stuck at two. Oh, lighthouse kicks up to four gladiators still in the lead with six the room is stuck at three oh lighthouse is at five votes now we're we got about 45 seconds left we got a two horse race two horse race indeed neck and neck tied the lighthouse and gladiator got six votes to pop the room is 
close second with four votes the rover that had an early start is stuck at two and killing them softly to lighthouse lighthouse takes the lead with seven votes gladiator is stuck at six and the room is at four gladiator hits it with seven is at seven now we got a two horse race here lighthouse and gladiator seven a pop the room is at four we've got about five seconds left we got lighthouse gladiator with two votes of pop oh coming down to the final coming down to the final coming down to the final and it's gonna be oh it's a tie we got two movies out of this one the lighthouse and gladiator two movies two movies the room got four votes rover got two and killing them softly got two votes and by the way gang if you want to watch great sci-fi dystopian uh, sort of not sci-fi but dystopian uh futuristic post-apocalyptic movie i highly recommend the rover out of australia i believe great movie great movie okay A very very underground uh fantastic acting and a beautiful movie beautiful movie so we got two movies out of that one the lighthouse is a weird movie cool cool are you not entertained elder god <laughs> love i love tony five movies <laughs> the soundtrack for Gra gladiator is absolutely beautiful indeed indeed and it's a good movie man it's a very good movie laugh out loud tony third heat chat oh close one close one there was no spoilers at the end going right solo win on it thanks for the correction Ta -ta. Jabo Rock is actually 1977. Is it 1977? I'm going to write this down too. Where's Jabberwocky? Where did I put Jabberwocky? 1977. Cool. Cool. So, so far we got out of two heats, we got three movies to watch, which is not bad. Which is not bad. And no matter how many movies we get out of this, we'll do the next movie latest month and a half from now. Know how to review these things two and a half months was way too long way too long way way too long right awesome who num glad and light who num <laughs> light uh set for three ready everyone ready everyone heat number three is coming up heat number three coming up have your trigger fingers ready water exiles yes Chicho, did you hear uh, what happened uh, to Belle Delphine? No, I don't know who Belle Delphine. I'm not sure who Belle Delphine is. Let's go, Bal Jeep. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome to a live stream. Uh, no, I don't know, uh, uh, Tony. Heat number three is out, and we got imitation game. Uh, Castaway on the Moon, Elizabeth Town, Super Troopers, and Bottle Rocket. Oof, some fantastic movies here, man. Castaway on the Moon, one vote. Elizabeth Town, one, two votes. Elizabeth Town. We got Imitation Games, got one. Castaway on the Moon, one. Elizabeth Town is at three. Super Troopers and Bottle Rocket just got one vote a pop. Elizabeth Town is at four. Bottle Rocket is two. Castaway on the Moon is at two. And Imitation Game and Super Troopers are one a pop. We've got Elizabeth Town and Castaway. Almost close, 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 close. What do we got? What do we got? Elizabeth Town is a four still. Castaway on the moon with three votes and Bottle Rocket just kicked up the to four votes. Four votes and a tie with Elizabeth Town. So we got we're about halfway through the voting game. We're about a minute left, and we got Bottle Rocket at five now. Elizabeth Town at four, stuck at four votes. Super Troopers at three, Castaway on the Moon at three, and Imitation Game is at three. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see where we're gonna go with this. Bottle Rocket is at five, Castaway on the Moon with four, Elizabeth Town with four votes, and Super Troopers with four votes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What a heat! What a heat! Imitation Game is stuck at three votes, okay, or two votes. So, right now, we got Bottle Rocket leading the heat with one vote any vote on the rest of the three that's sitting at four votes apart which are cast away on the moon elizabeth town and super troopers will tie it up with bottle rockets which gives us two movies for this heat 
if bottle rocket go oh there's super trooper goes up to five we've got a tie two-way tie right now super trooper and bottle rocket with five votes a pop we've got about five seconds left cast away on the moon with four elizabeth down with four. Oh, this is going down to the wire going down to the wire going down to the oh going down to the wire we've got two movies out of this one super trooper with five votes and bottle rocket at five votes cast away on the moon and elizabeth town were stuck at four votes a pop and imitation game was at two so so we got two movies out of this one we got two movies out of this one very cool very cool super troopers in bottle rocket is in what do we get on the other one i forgot oh we got gladiator and the lighthouse on the other one very cool let's make four movies <laughs> I thought that's where it was gonna go. I thought that's where it was gonna go. Bottle Rock is Wes Anderson. Cool. Haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen it either. Tell you the truth. Um, Super Troopers. I've seen multiple times. Super funny movie. Just a feel good movie. Belle Delphini is the e e girl bathwater chick. E girl bathwater kid. She bottled her bathwater and sold it to her admirers. Whoa! What? I don't even know this betrayal begets blood so what happened with her uh gina she was taking a bath and selling it why not right if she's raising money to fund her creative outlet uh why not the suspense is terrible hope it will last willy wonka <laughs> what, are exiled? what a great quote they had to shut down the city when they shot elizabeth town really Oh, censor tube account suspended. Why? Why would they s s uh, suspend her account? Because it's not Disneyfied, I guess. Right? I think Disneyfied should be a word now. That means censored up the yin yang, controlled by central powers to propag propagandize the population. <laughs> Laugh out loud, Tony. Not suspended. Terminated. Terminated. Wow oh man i missed the beginning graham you missed the beginning we're on our last heat basically terminated so was she huge what was her following bell bell delphini she should she should uh, i hope she's on alternative platforms right go on bit shoot go on rumble right jabberwocky is one of those crazy british comedies set in medieval times hunting a dragon i've seen it man i've seen this in the 1980s I've seen this in the 1980s, Jabberwocky. Is it Terry Gilliam? She is hot, Elder God. Is she? <laughs> do you have her bath water, Elder God? Do you have her bath water? Disneyfy should definitely be used more more today. Yeah, Disneyfy. Let's let's make it part of our vocabulary, gang. Sensor tube has been Disneyfied. <laughs> She moving to Twitch? Awesome. She's a porn star now. Is she a porn star? She said she said it on her interview with uh, Jake Paul. Okay. Chicho, laugh out loud. You don't know, man. She basically uploaded soft porn on YouTube. But dude, if you're on YouTube, you want to see YouTube has soft porn up the yin yang. Just do naked yoga. Just do naked yoga legit do naked yoga make sure your account is set up uh as not a child right <laughs> twitter has hardcore porn on it right because it happens all over today she is just down the road she's just down the road <laughs> Isn't Jabberwocky the creature from Alice in Wonderland? Is it? Nafal Tony, Elder God drank all the water, bath water. <laughs> Zabrowski. Okay, I'm searching naked yoga for scientific purposes. Yeah, search it. Uh, Zabrowski. Like, when I was a teenager, if there was such a thing called sensor tube and had naked yoga on there, uh, why would I go to school? <laughs> I'd just be practicing yoga. Son, what are you doing? I'm doing yoga. Leave me alone. What do you do with the water? Just use uh, your imagination. Freeze it for prosperity. 
what is her what is her name i missed the beginning ah Ta takida how are you doing takida you were going to recommend the movie you were late on the show so sweet it was <laughs> Oh dear God, so sweet it was for my namesake. Oh, won't be having any bath water. Water hangs out. I won't be. <laughs> Hilarious. We're, in, we're down to the last heat, I guess. We're down to the last heat. So, so far, what do we got? We got five movies so far, I believe, right? Or six movies. I lost track again. I lost track. <laughs> Can you read the choices so far? The choices so far, sure. Graham, I'll I'll give you the choices. Oh, I know, Takeda, you missed our thing. I have posted on oh Elder Gods posted on Discord. Awesome. Very important topics. So just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> sure. Awesome. Okay, we're ready for heat number five, gang. Enough talking about the Disneyfied accounts on Sensor Tube and uh, Bathwater. Let's do heat number five. Let's do heat number five. <laughs> I gotta check out this uh, this girl now. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gina says, let's do it. Heat number five heat number five I'm gonna have a sip of tea if anybody has links to the bathwater thing link it up in our discord please didn't want to interrupt <laughs> I'm still on it <laughs> I will post in discord might need a yeah yeah for sure awesome elder god heat number five is up gang we got seven samurai jabberwocky war games the usual suspect oh brother we're out now gang five powerhouse movies five you couldn't go wrong on watching any of these let's throw it in 30 seconds in we got four votes for seven samurai three votes for jabberwocky war games is not out of the gate yet the usual suspect has got three and old brother where art thou has got one vote seven samurai is at seven five votes right now seven samurai one of the greatest films of all time uh we got five votes for seven samurai jabberwocky's got three war games is at zero the usual suspects is at four. Old brother where out thou is at two amazing soundtrack for old brother where out thou amazing amazing soundtrack seven samurai is at seven um votes right now seven samurai seven samurai is kicking it up usual suspect is number two with five votes jabberwocky's got three oh brother where out thou's got two and war games hasn't left the gate with zero votes we got seven samurais got eight votes right now seven samurais with eight usual suspect with five we've got about 45 seconds left jabberwock is at three old brother where out does at two and war games is at zero this is the second time around that old brother where out does trying to make it onto the two watch list giving it another go giving it another go we got uh, Jabberwock is at three, usual suspect at five, seven samurai still in the lead with eight, usual suspect just went up to six votes. Old brother, where out thou is at three votes, and war games, poor war games still at zero. We got about five seconds left, gang. Seven samurai is at eight, usual suspect at six, seven samurai at eight, usual suspect at six, and I think that's the way it's gonna end. It is, it is. So we got seven samurai with eight votes, usual suspect with six jabberwocky and old brother were out there with three votes and war games didn't leave the gate didn't leave the gate fun great movies great movies oh i suggest the seven samurai oh takita you suggest seven samurai awesome if i'm uh, early i recommend one of akira kurosawa's other movies uh kagen musha i don't think i've seen that one so Tagida, you recommend Seven Samurai. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great recommendation. Great recommendation. Fantastic. I haven't seen it for a very long time. Man, looking forward to it. Laugh out loud, Tony. You don't have Seven Samurai. Yes, this is good. Max Wild. Cheryl, laugh out loud to know. Everyone watches on their own. Yeah, everyone watches on their own. But if you can't find that, someone might be able to suggest a source. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, gang, if you can't find these movies, come to our film, 
folder and it's under film not movies film folder on discord and uh, just say hey i can't find this movie can someone recommend somewhere where i can watch it or where i can find it and i'm pretty sure people will be able to help you out okay graham oh man my dinner with andre comes in and gets the wind from out of nowhere <laughs> Graham, one day we do. One day we do. Funny, funny, funny. I suggested it this time. Maxwell, did you suggest it? Uh, Chad, where can I watch uh, watch these, uh, Seven Samurai? I can't find it anywhere. Uh, Discord. Try Discord, Tony. I'm pretty sure people will be able to find you links. No, I did not. I'm late, dude. Oh, you're late. Okay. You recommended it yesterday's stream during the talk. So someone recommended it today. I can't remember who recommended it today. I didn't write it down, unfortunately. Crack. There must be a torrent out there. Just uh, sail the seas like a true pirate. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. <laughs> Criterion has a, has a channel if you want to subscribe oh criterion is uh doing uh subscription as well that's cool i didn't know that you can by the way uh, laugh out loud tony in my part of the world uh movie theater uh, not movie theaters um libraries have a huge selection of movies that you can rent right and i believe you can if you have a library card you can actually stream those movies online as well so library card is your friend gang um pirates life for me savvy Ch Ch um, cheryl here are the winners gang buck rogers in the 25th century the lighthouse gladiator super troopers bottle rocket and seven samurai we have uh we have light we have heavy we have sci-fi we have uh weird i believe so we got a good mix of movies in there i can send the link for this nice Shall I gift the real <laughs> Delphinia sub? <laughs> is she is she on there? Like seriously, is that her? Gina. <laughs> She's gonna go, what the hell? <laughs> Bath water for Chicho. <laughs> I'll send it to Elder God. I think he drank his. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. I'm like, oh, hold on library is a great option library is a great option library is a great option libraries are closed here oh the libraries are closed there elder god brutal electric emma i'm pretty sure the libraries are open here i haven't checked i haven't gone but uh simple tron 2000 yeah i used to get cds from the library and then uh burn them when i was a broke kid nice water excels like nice danite how you doing brother danite did you catch the movies we're supposed to watch did you catch the movies here's the movies buck rogers of the 25th century the lighthouse gladiator super troopers bottle rocket and seven samurai we ended up getting uh how many movies one two three four five six movies out of this one so we got six movies to watch crack Hours are closed as well uh, to browsing, but the online is going, and they have a pickup drop off uh, drop off set. Oh, cool, interesting. Cheryl Chicho, Buck Rogers in the twenty first century. Oh yeah, these, so these are the. This is who recommended what? Uh, Buck Rogers of the twenty fifth century was my recommendation. The Lighthouse was Cold Duck's recommendation. Gladiator was Yes Ed recommendation super troopers was cheryl's recommendation bottle rocket was uh simtron 2000 and seven samurai was max wild seven samurai was max wild max wild nice i can recommend the lighthouse and glader is a classic cool cool i haven't seen the lighthouse so i'm looking forward to that uh i haven't in this list i haven't seen the lighthouse I must have seen a uh, bottle rocket but I can't remember it at all um, and I've seen the rest your uh, Burroughs tail in the background looks beautiful mine is dying oh yours is dying it could be because of overwatering. don't water it too much this thing's beautiful 
Like you touch it and the seeds fall down. Like I barely water it. And literally, like you touch it and the little seeds fall off, right? I actually want to grow another one of these. So I got to take some of these seeds and plant them somewhere. Uh, but yeah, thank you. It, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I water it maybe once every two weeks. Like really very little very little like three times a month maybe at most sometimes i don't even water it for a month and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of power of capitalist power to humanity for more information see uh, wikileaks.org or check out our julian assange on wikileaks playlist on sensor tube okay I live in a basement suite so keeping plants is raw oh, basement suite yeah 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 you could try uh, jades grow almost anywhere uh, spider plants grow almost anywhere spider plants are ridiculously easy to grow just don't uh, seriously the one thing that kills house plants the most from what I understand is overwatering. so it's just like human beings people who eat a lot they usually die sooner right the one one of the things that correlates to a long healthy life is not gorging on food right laura do you live with uh by <laughs> i don't know what that means <laughs> but i like it it cracked me up gang thank you for being here cheryl 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 elder god for keeping track of everything gang thank you very much cheryl for running our polls uh thank you very much on ribs gorgeous on ribs in the lighthouse and a24 production Graham says from what I understand films under the a24 label are really well regarded is it Graham okay cool 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 I live in Canada so no Psh, Laura thank God <laughs> crack strong work Cheryl. strong work Cheryl and thank you for uh, not loading on heat number five until that important discussion was dealt with and we we're all informed as to what was going on <laughs> it's a hipster label gone mainstream game musha is about the takeda shinjen the greatest japanese commander oh is it takeda man i gotta watch that i gotta watch that i haven't seen all of his movies so not even close uh I've seen a lot of Shaw Brothers movies, but not uh, on that front. Uh, I, I went down that direction. Other than Seven Samurai, I've seen a couple other ones, I think. Gang, I think we're going to call the stream. We've got our movies to watch. We've got our homework. The next sort of stream that we're going to do on this level is the music one, where we recommended albums to listen to. And I'm going to hop on that this week. So if not with the next set of live streams with the following one we're going to do one for music and then listen you know talk about the albums we we're supposed to listen to and then we'll do a follow-up to recommend new albums to listen to and if you want to know what the movies are and what the uh, music is that we're supposed to listen to on our discord page we have a music and movie folder in the general section where it lists all the movies and music that we're supposed to listen to okay i will post my movie channel tonight awesome 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 elder god thank you very much animatrix is fantastic dr p and hello hello peace love i'm going to start with watching bottle rocket awesome epstein and gang thank you for being here and if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything is Creative Commons. Share and share alike, and everything is layered on mathematics. Uh, for those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this, and we all appreciate it very much. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. If you want to participate in the chat and put in your recommendations and vote, use your fingers, use the trigger, and go. Ksh, 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 Twitch is where you want to be at, right? And for those of you who are supporting this work on Twitch, thank you very much for the subs, for the follows, for the discussion, for being here and mods, for taking care of business. 
I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, LO Minds, VK Gap, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want and type in exclamation mark social, and all the links will pop up to our social announcement platforms. And at the bottom there is our Discord link where people are sharing information and helping each other out and providing pirated links for things that they cannot find and there's nice dating hoarding channel as well we will be uploading this live stream as a podcast on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chicho as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to bit to rumble and once we start getting enough points we will be uploading on a regular basis to odyssey and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing subscribing following and if you're on sensor tube you can support this work by joining sensor tube membership and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work through uh sensor tube and thank you very much for the support gang i hope you enjoy this content and uh slowly what i'm going to do i'm going to start uploading the videos the live streams we've had for this set set onto those uh channels um onto those platforms and expect a nine minute gang a nine minute kitty cat break that i'm going to release on sensor two bit shoot and rumble okay with salon via wrestling on the couch on a dubai elder god you're gonna love this wrestling match between via and sal and uh, it's fantastic i've actually watched it myself like three or four times with a big grin on my face nova tv is good nova tv nova tv that's something we nova tv is a public uh public uh station like pbs was nova tv in canada i used to watch that a lot when i was a kid sal wins flawless victory <laughs> take a look at it i'm gonna have it up today okay it's like a nine minute uh, uh video of them just waking up uh cleaning each other biting each other and getting into a full-on wrestling match and it's fantastic kitty cat world is a great world gang if you can make it tomorrow math we're doing a two-hour drop in math session on tuesday we're doing uh excerpts reading excerpts of terence mckenna's uh, uh, food of the gods on thursday i believe we're doing cooking on saturday and sunday saturday i think we're doing personal finance and on sunday we're doing current events again because there's a lot of stuff going on and we need to talk about it i hope you're having a fantastic sunday and i'll see you tomorrow if you can make it for mathematics bye everyone